H is for hand guards. If you like to go off on your own, as I do, then it's possible you can end up in a bit of trouble when you least expect it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh concentrate, that's it. So hand guards can be underestimated in their importance. When I was 17 and invincible, I had a series of accidents. The world does this when you think you're bigger than it. And if you're lucky, you survive and learn. One of the slowest took place around the local youth club. No gloves, no helmet, riding at about five miles an hour. I hit another lad on a bike, similarly, stupidly attired. He fell off and cut his knees open. And I had the knuckles on my left hand cut apart as though from a scalpel. Actually, it was the clutch lever which had pressed hard into my hand under the impact. I can still see the scars today, many decades later. Totally unexpected and innocuous, a coming together which left its mark. So likewise, when you're out alone, adventuring, perhaps up a green lane, you can end up on the ground. And at these moments, handguards come into their own. The 790 Adventure comes equipped with plastic versions. These would have saved my knuckles back then, but then so would have gloves. They also keep some of the wind and rain off your hands, as well as twigs and brambles. Whoa, oh, whoa. Smacked in the face by the cow parsley. If you're off road. However, I suspect from experience, these would do little to protect the levers if the bike went down. Very, very, very embarrassing. Anyway. No real damage done apart from it bent the brake lever here and it snapped a piece of plastic off. And if you're miles away from anywhere, the last thing you need is a broken brake lever or clutch lever. So I fitted Bark Busters. They have a well deserved reputation and I hope not to have to test them. But just in case, that's what I have. I would not have an adventure bike without hand guards and would change them to aluminium back ones as soon as possible after purchase. Fortunately, I see KTM have now produced their own, specific to this bike, and they look very bark bustery to me. One other benefit of handguards might be, although I can't prove it, but they might make the bike a little more visible from the front. Though I honestly think most car only drivers would not see a motorcycle even after it had passed through their side doors. My bark busters came with these lights also. Every little helps, as the supermarkets used to say. One cautious note, I have heard it is possible to break a wrist if the bike goes down and your hand gets stuck between these metal guards. So nothing is without risk I guess, that's motorcycling. <laughs>